Hi, I'm Brady, and you might remember last year the professor met a man named Max Whitby, the element collector. He's a guy who makes real life periodic tables, and we remember what Max told us. I'll invite you to our lab and see some being melted, that which is quite a, quite a nice thing to see. So I've been down to London to make a few videos with Max, and well, here's the first one. We're in the world headquarters of um, the Red, Green and Blue Company, RGB Research, which is where we make our periodic tables. The displays that we make here are really mainly for museums and for schools and occasionally for very wealthy individuals who fancy a periodic table in their study. And actually what I'm about to do now is to go and make a sample to go into one of these periodic tables. This is what we're starting with and it's um, a beautiful one kilogram jar of silver. Sadly, if I bought this about a year ago, I could have got it for maybe 200 pounds. Uh, but now, silver shot up in price. This is one of the terrible uh, uh, problems of being in the element selling trade. And now, this is almost 1,000 pounds worth of silver. And what I'm going to do, I hope, is to turn it into a beautiful cylinder. Um, this is even more expensive. Uh, yeah, feel the weight. Just feel the weight of that. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. that? Uh, well, what you're looking at is pure gold. So that's one kilogram cylinder. Um, and um, if we make an equivalent size cylinder in silver, it's going to be about half the weight. It's going to be about half a kilogram. Um, so I'm hoping I can get two cylinders out of this. Now, the very first step in making a cylinder, do you know what it is? You have to do a risk assessment, because what we're doing is dealing with hot molten metal. And so um, we've actually gone through quite carefully thinking of all the things that can go wrong. And Brady, we've actually had a chat about that. That's yeah. why I'm going to be standing out here. Yeah. And um, I'm going to load the furnace. You see that's glowing nicely red hot. This is a graphite crucible. In fact, stay there and I'm going to go and turn the light out. Is that glowing still? Yeah. Yeah, so that, that is hot. Um, I've set that to 1050 degrees centigrade. So that's quite a bit above the melting point of silver. Um, so I'm going to start by just filling that up. And now, of course, doing this is going to reduce the temperature uh, very considerably. Um, so once we've filled it up with the pieces of silver, we then you can actually see it cooling. And silver is a superb conductor of heat. That's got you know, quite a lot of thermal inertia. You can see that's gone almost now back to the color of graphite, because all the heat that was in the graphite has gone into the silver very, very quickly. Superb conductor. And now we're going to close the little lid and leave it to, leave it to cook. So... <laughs> no, it's uh, well, this is uh, slightly overkill, but it provides a full face mask. Gloves again. And uh, fingers crossed. Fantastic! Now, that's the sinkhole appearing. Hopefully, that will fill up the sinkhole. Um, okay, well, I'm very relieved that seems to have come out okay. It's a bit like making jelly, only a thousand degrees Celsius more. Um, now what's going to happen is that's going to cool down and then we'll take it to our marvelous engineer, David Brutnell, and he will machine it down to a beautiful cylinder, 55 millimeters long and 35 millimeters in diameter. And then it will go to America to a periodic table. <laughs>